Hey everyone, in this tutorial, we're going to dive into an exciting workflow that shows you how to create incredible CGI ads using the power of AI. This is super relevant for any brand out there looking to make their ads pop with that professional CGI look without the hefty traditional costs. So, what's our plan? First, we'll use an AI image generator like GPT Image 1 to create a CGI-inspired image. Then, we'll bring that image to life by animating it with an image-to-video model, such as Runway Gen 4. Let's jump right in. We'll start by opening up a new workflow and naming it CGI Ad Maker. Now that we have our workflow canvas all set up, let's get started. First things first, we need to upload our product image. For this example, I'm gonna use a juice bottle from a fictional brand called Cola Cola. We'll add the image upload node and simply click the upload button to bring in our product image. Next, we're going to create a custom node that will generate really detailed prompts for our CGI images. This is where Cloud Sonnet comes in handy. We'll use a special system prompt for Cloud Sonnet. This prompt is designed to help us create consistent results every single time without us having to manually write out all the details. Let's take a quick look at this system prompt. It essentially has three main parts. Core functions. These break down the main tasks into actionable steps. Guidelines. These provide operational rules to keep everything on track. Input-output format. This creates a clear structure for our workflow. Now, let's go ahead and copy this system prompt and paste it into the system prompt tab within our Claude Sonnet node. We'll also add a text node for a very brief text prompt, like location details. Then, we simply connect our image and text nodes to Claude Sonnet and hit the Run button. It'll just take a few seconds to generate our prompt. And there you have it. We now have a super detailed prompt without us having to write it ourselves. How cool is that? Our next step is to generate the actual CGI-inspired image of our product. For this, we'll use GPT Image 1 Edit. We'll simply pass the detailed prompt we just generated with Claude Sonnet and our original product image to GPT Image 1 Edit. Then, we'll hit the Run button. This will take a few seconds to generate the image. Great! We now have an image of the giant Cola Cola bottle right in the middle of a busy Times Square. I'm really happy with these results, so I'm going to pin these nodes using the pin mode option. This ensures they don't get rerun if we tweak other parts of the workflow. Now, we'll take this amazing image and use it for our next step, animating it with an image to video model. I'm using Runway Gen 4 here, but feel free to use any image to video model available on Segmine. You can adjust the aspect ratio and duration of the video to your liking. Let's go ahead and give Runway a simple prompt like 3D CGI video animation. Feel free to experiment with different prompts to see what you get. Before we run it, I'm gonna add a video output node. This is where we'll preview our generated video. Then, we connect the Runway node to it. Now, let's run the workflow. It'll take about a minute to generate the video. Okay, it looks like we might need to adjust the aspect ratio. Let's see what options we have here. I'm just checking to see what would be the ideal aspect ratio for this. Hmm. I'm gonna go with a square aspect ratio. Let's try regenerating a fresh video with our updated settings. We'll run the workflow again and give it some time to generate. Great, now this looks much, much better. I'm going to try out another location to see how it looks. Let's try Tokyo's famous Shibuya Crossing. We'll run the whole workflow again. As you can see, a new prompt is generated, and then we get an image of the Cola Cola bottle in the busy Shibuya Crossing. Finally, we get a video of people passing by our giant Cola Cola bottle. So cool. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. We've linked the document with the system prompt in the description below, along with the Pixel Flow template. Feel free to take it for a spin and see what amazing CGI ads you can create.